Hi everyone, it's Wednesday afternoon and um, it's the bed that's creaky, not me, but um, I do feel a bit creaky because my back's sore this afternoon so I'm propped up and once I finish this video I'm going to have a turn my electric blanket on and just rock back and relax. Um, Chantal. First of all, I don't want to forget, if you want to watch a really good reaction channel, well, there's two. Go to Foodie Beauty Reaction Channel. That's exactly what it's called. F-B-R-C. And uh, it's Supercat who will um, enliven the chat for you. And very good, and very good live streams as well. Um, Rose Thorne is another one who is, I don't know how she's keeping up, assiduously watching Foodie Beauty's videos and reacting to them and very good reactions as well. So those are two channels for you to watch if you um, want to keep up with the saga. I am finding it very boring now. I'm going to get on to doing some videos with content again and come back to it as another date after this video. Um, it's just the same old, same old, time after time after time. Um, how long did she, how long did she, uh, was she on for yesterday? About eight hours. And it isn't, it isn't, hard work for her she calls it sorry i'm looking at the wrong place she calls it her job but it isn't hard work for her she doesn't do live videos anymore that's too much like hard work she'll do the live streams only the beezers can comment you know the 4.99 a month beezers can comment it didn't work out with the tears um so she's on the live stream with the bees is reacting and i can't believe they're falling for it time and again surely there's more than one brain cell between them it, it really is i don't mean to be rude but it really is ridiculous um how much more blatant can it be it's a scam it's fraudulent. It's against YouTube's terms of service. The woman sits there getting high every night, smoking weed, taking edibles, doing God knows what else to get in the state that she gets in. And um, it's just crazy. She leaves the bees to talk among themselves she isn't the host of any live stream. She doesn't act like a host. There's very little interaction, very little um, intermingling with the beezers, very little. Um, and nothing, nothing to speak of except Nada, the Egyptian god. Um, so, pity card, rage card, CPAP, and I'm so over him card, hot men who want a data, as in the Montreal date, which never came up. We knew that was. <laughs> Talk about um, clickbait, driving to Montreal to meet a friend. Um, and when pushed and, you know, prodded about him, she said he looks like Eddie Murphy. He'd need to have Eddie Murphy's sense of humour also, wouldn't he? Anyway, that didn't come off, as you might have guessed. Um, she did some cooking, some gloop. Um, and it's no wonder she's 
I mean, do you know what? I need to lose. I want to get back down to £110, which means I've got to lose £20 as from a week and a half ago. So I've started, I don't know whether I've lost any weight because the kids have been cooking for me and I've asked them not to the next two weeks because um, I'm going to hold myself accountable and weigh myself on here on the 1st of the month, 1st of Feb. But um, you can tell why the weight's never going to come off because of all the fats and creams and goodness knows what else. Last night she was stuffing herself with popcorn, a Toblerone that wasn't hers. Um, so, you all know what my point of view is. At best, at best, the um, situation between her and Nada may have had some hanky-panky in it, I'm sure it did, but it was transactional, purely transactional. It was to um, gain views and money for her channel um, and in return she would set him up, as she did, with a channel of his own, with about five, uh, 5,000 subscribers, I believe. He's got seven now. And I liked how last night he was preening himself on um, some somebody in the chat said, uh, congratulations on 7,000 subscribers. And Dee read it back to him. Oh, thank you guys, thank you guys. You big... Broad. You didn't get those uh, subscribers yourself. Chantelle gave them to you. You know, Chantelle who goes and buys 5,000 subscribers overnight. She's nothing but a liar. Down and out liar. Um, So yeah, it, it, at, at best it's transactional and a, a bit of hanky-panky on the side. At worst, and what I believe it is, it's a big money grab. It's all scripted. You do this, I'll do that. You do this, I'll do that. You behave badly, I'll behave worse. But it's getting boring. And something's going to have to be pulled out the bag. And I think it's going to have to be the CPAP machine. Uh, food is threatening to go over with a police escort because he's withholding her medical device. I don't believe he is. I think if she said she was going over and could he uh, hand it to her at the door, he would do so. But she doesn't want to do that. So... Um, if the police are involved, you know, more waste of public money, waste of police time when they could be on another call. Here's a novel idea for you, Chantal. As you're making like $10,000 a month or whatever it is, more, some months, you say, why not spend a little bit of it and buy yourself a new machine. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, you do have two machines. One that you could keep at Nardas, one that you could keep at home. So what's happened to the other one? The um, travelling CPAP, where is it? Where does it travel to? I take it you just want the one that Nada's got because it's a better one. But if it was me and I was frightened to go buy somebody because they were violent or I didn't want to go buy somebody because they'd got their paramour there and I, I was frightened of my own reaction, then I'd just buy a new one. Particularly, as I say, because you've got plenty of money. Um, yep, 
Yeah, Nada went uh, live simultaneously. Um, you know, so Chantal was on her live stream, Nada came on with Dee and um, doing his live. And of course, everybody wants to see Dee Dee Lulu, don't they? Wants to see her live. And she was rocking back and forth, you know. I guess she was reading the chat, but um, I mean, I think that was sort of staged as well. The why would you rock like this towards the camera and back, and rock towards the camera and back? Why? Nice gown she got on, by the way. What was it? Um, somebody said you got pie crust on your dress, on your dress, and she said, "No, I'm not wearing a dress." I actually think. It was uh, a slinky gown, you know, like to go over your night clothes. Don't know. Um, but we saw her face quite clearly. And um, I've got another little tidbit for you because I have been sent a photo and the photo is of Nada, I think it's him, I know it's Dee Dee, quite clearly it's Dee Dee, Nada, there was two Egyptian men, Dee Dee, and there was two girls in this photograph, and um, it looks like they were having a particularly or had been having a particularly raucous night. Makeup was smeared, you know, street clothes. Dee Dee was cons fairly conservatively dressed but the other two weren't. And um, it was just seedy. I've got that, I've got that photograph. I don't know whether I could post it because I'm not sure where uh, the person who sent it to me, where they managed to get it from, but I have it. And Dee Dee, really, I think it was taken around about nine, ten years ago. She hasn't changed that much, but the place that they were in was really seedy and run down just like all the people, apart from Dee Dee, who were in that photograph, Dee Dee. What else? Nothing much. So you've got to pull something out the hat, Chantal, get over there with the cops and get your seat pack back. Or take us shopping and buy a new one, as long as you're not coughing all over the place. Of course, the other thing is there could be this sort of war, war of the um, poses where the videos and photographs that Nada has of Chantal, some she said she didn't know were being taken. Why was she walking around in the nude? but some, I'm guessing, were posed. And she said she's got some of him. So let's have, either get your seat pat back or give us a bit to talk about. Get the photographs out there in the public domain. I'd love to post this one that I've got because it's, um, CD is the only word I can say. Before I go, I've got to mention this as well. Pete's. That man child shouted down across to Chantal last night. Have you finished now so that he could get on and do his live stream? 
So she was saying to the visa, shall I get off? Because he was going on. Well, what does it matter? It's not going to stop him, is it? But there he was in his bedroom, streaming. Must have had the door open. You could hear his big mouth all the way down in the downstairs room. And his language was foul. He was calling everybody F you and you effing stupid and you this and you that. You don't talk to people like that. Ever. Not in real life. And certainly not on a live stream. How dare you. You stupid little man. And it was all because, apparently, I wasn't watching it, but I went to look when he was ranting and raving. Um, it was all because he'd mentioned uh, per capita and somebody asked him what that meant. Instead of explaining, how can you not effing know? How can you get through life? How can people be so effing stupid as not to know? It would have taken less energy and promoted far more goodwill had you simply answered the question instead of going off like a lunatic. So yours is another channel that's, you know, you know, okie doke folks. I um I might back I might be back later. I might video from my bed like King Tut does or Chantal with one difference I'll be sober. Speak to you later.